Hi again. So the next operation I'm going to do is to check the repetition springs. Those are, you can see from the side, this is what we call a butterfly spring in the business. It starts here at the back of the jack. It goes into a little hole there, and then it comes up here, and it coils around in the middle of here. And then it goes up under here, under the underside of the balance here, right? So the top part of it regulates how strong this is. The bottom part of it regulates how strong this is. The jack moving forward and back, and the balance here moving up and down. And the way you measure this is you play the key from the front, like so, and you let it catch against the back check, and then you ever so slightly let your finger off the front of the key a little bit, and it rises. I'll do that again so you can watch that. It rises just a little bit. And so the combination of watching that with your eyes and feeling it with, in this case, my left hand, will tell you how strong that spring is. Those are all actually pretty good. Let's see if I can find them. There, that one's too strong because it double bounces at the top. And I can feel that in my finger and I can see it. So I go to make this adjustment. I'm going to go in from the right side here. This is uh, the tool I use. It has a little, uh, I don't know if you can see it or not, there's a little indentation in the bottom that will pick the spring up right there and it's bent so I can go between and not disturb the neighbor. So I'll see if I can do this and hold up this at the same time. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to go underneath the top spring way up against close to where it coils and I'm going to pull up just a little bit so that I'm going to weaken that spring just a smidgen and now I'm going to test it again. That's still just a little strong, so I'm going to do it again. This is one of the most delicate and frustrating parts of working on Steinways or any other piano that has a butterfly spring in it. Other pianos have these same springs, but they'll have a, an adjustment screw here or here where you can actually get at it and make a real fine adjustment with the screwdriver, which is a lot easier to do. Steinway, however, stubbornly refuses to change that design because they found something they like and something that works. So I'm going back for a third run at this thing now to try to weaken that spring. There we go. No double bounce this time. If I weaken it too much, then I have to take my spring out of the slot like so, and then I grab a hold of it at the end like this, and I bend it the other direction to add more strength to it, and then put it back under there, and then test it again. That's still a smidgen strong for me. I'm going back in for a fourth shot at it here. Kind of massage that spring a little bit and see if I can get it to loosen. There we go. That's the sweet spot where it rises but doesn't double bounce. And then I have to do this 88 times, and it's back-breaking because you've got to stand up and bend over. But, hey, I wanted to be in show business, right? Thanks for watching. Bye.